Hi, welcome back to Cowboy Survival. I'm Richard, and today we're going to take a look at the Go Sun solar powered water pump and water filter. A really cool item. You can get it off the website today for $130. Uh, normally that's about twice that. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at the product, what's in it, what comes with it when you buy it. We're going to look at the way, the different ways you can use it. Then in a separate video, I'm actually going to go out into the field and we're going to gather some water from a friend's stream on their, on their farm and we're going to filter it and we're going to take it to the university and have them test how well the, the water was filtered. So, let's get into it. This is the GoSun solar powered water pump and water filter. It comes in this hard shell case uh, that's zipper closed. On the outside, you've got two critical items. This side is the solar panel. This is the part that's gonna be used to actually charge the battery that's inside. There's a 5,000 milliamp battery pack that this comes with, and this will charge that. Um, on this end, you've got some rubber grommets that are really good for running your hoses in and out if you wanted to use this in a closed uh, sort of configuration. Um, now, let's see what's inside this. What's inside this is gonna have two compartments, and the first compartment is gonna have loose items in it, and the second item compartment is gonna have your, uh, sort of your works, the machinery that goes with this. Now, what do we have? First thing we have is this collapsible water bottle that comes with this. You could put your, collect your dirty water with this, and then filter it through the filter, and we'll demonstrate how to do that. Um, it's going to come with a intake hose. Um, the intake hose is, is very recognizable because it's got on the outside a particulate filter. It filters out things like leaves and grass and maybe some smaller bugs that are in the in the water. Keeps those from getting into your filter and clogging your filter or your pump up. Uh, and I would. It also comes with this rubber um, sort of grommet that can slide up and down the hose. This will position your your um, intake end below the water level but keep it from riding on the bottom of the water uh, uh source. Now, as always, you want to use a running water source whenever possible uh, rather than a stagnant water source like a stagnant pond. Um, uh, this is, it also comes with a hose that you use for your outflow. Um, one criticism I have of this is I wish that uh, these two hoses came in different colors so you could distinguish them because you don't want to ever mix up your outflow hose and your intake hose. Once you put this hose in dirty water, you never want to mix it up and run clean water through it the other direction. Um, that would be disastrous. If you're just using the pump to maybe pump some clean water from one place to another, um, or perhaps to, um, to create a running water source, as we'll demonstrate, I would never use this uh, in that clean water source because it's gonna be dirty when you, from where you put it into your uh, dirty water source that you get your water from. I would also recommend that when you get home, after using this, you run it through some, uh, put this hose and run some Clorox water through it, not, not pure Clorox, but take some water, dilute it with Clorox and run that through this hose uh, pretty he uh, heftily. I think that'll help clean it. Um, you also get some extra filters, and we'll show you about these in a minute. There's three of these little cotton filters in here um, uh, that you can use in the, um, uh, in the pump itself, or in the filter itself. So what do we have on this side? On this side, we've got three primary items. Uh, you've first got your 5,000 milliamp battery uh, that this comes with. Now, this, this battery is currently, right now, running off of the, the charge from the solar panel. So you can see it's got a, a little plug right here, runs up here and has this, and you can plug this white cord right into this. Now, the implication is that you could plug this pump right into the, uh, the solar panel and it would work. I haven't been able to get that to happen yet. I don't think this solar panel generates enough power to actually run the pump, though it does generate enough power to charge the battery. Um, so if you have the battery in, how do I know this is currently charging? If I turn this up toward the sun, I can turn this around and you can see when I turn toward the sun, those little blue lights come on. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they come on when I'm showing the solar panel. Um, so they're, they're charging currently, right? Now, uh, uh, so when I plug this pump up to this battery um, with my USB, I just plug this up and I'm going to take this out of here for a moment so you can hear it. When I plug this black plug up to my USB port on my battery, it's going to turn that pump on. So this black item is my pump. It's got an intake and an outflow. Now my one problem I have with the pump is that the pump doesn't have an on off switch. I kind of wish it did uh, so it doesn't turn on as soon as I I plug it into the battery. It'd be nice to have an on-off switch with that. 
but I can do this. Now, another thing to remember is that you can run this thing off of any uh, battery pack that you've got. I've got this battery pack in my pocket. Um, uh, it's a uh, just a much better, bigger battery bank, but I can take this thing and I can run this uh, off of this battery bank with no problem. It's running, it can actually run longer because this is a 25,000 uh, milliamp battery uh, bank, so I can run it for a lot longer off of this and pump a lot more water before it goes dry. So, uh, so that's what's in this. I also have my water filter. The water filter comes out just like the other does. Uh, I've got a short hose on my intake and a longer hose on my outtake. Uh, no reason for that. This is the way I have it right now. Um, this thing actually comes apart, and on the inside you've got your major uh, water filter uh, component. This particular unit can be purchased from the website right now for about $19.95. The pump unit, this whole package would be about $129. You can buy an extra one of these pump cartridges for uh, $19.95. Uh, these things come right out. Remember you, I said you have three extras and when you buy this pump you get four of those also. You get the exact same thing that you would see here when you buy that, that cartridge that goes in this pump. You simply screw it back together, it's ready to work. So uh, the only other thing about this that I would improve if I was making this, I, on this side I've got this Velcro that's attached that I can fasten these components down. Um, I wish that they had those same Velcro over here on this side. That way, for these hoses, I could, I, could, I could sort of clamp those down and they wouldn't flop all over the place whenever I open the container. So that would be a nice improvement for the company to make on this particular device. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're actually going to show you several ways that you can use this solar pump and uh, solar filter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate four ways that we can use this filter. So the first way we use it is by, by simply taking, let's assume this is a dirty water source. This is actually a two liter bottle that I filled up with water, tap water from the house just for demonstration purposes. So if I have a bottle like this, this, this uh, uh, collapsible water bottle actually has exactly the same size opening as this. Now some of your water bottles will have a much smaller opening. The way I can usually tell soda bottles um, that have a full cap like this will usually um, have be the right size. The water bottles have a, a much smaller cap or usually a smaller, si a smaller opening and it usually doesn't work as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply screw this. It's got threads on it on the inside. I can simply screw this onto here and I can use this like a squeeze pump. So I can simply take this and I can turn this over and I can squeeze the water right through that right into my water cup. So just like the, the squeeze filter that you might have seen demonstrated, um, I'm just filtering the water right through the filter now, right into my cup, and it's cleaning. If, if this was dirty water, it would be cleaning it as I go. Now, there's a second way we can use this. So if I, let's take this off of here. Second way I can use this is I can use it as a, just a filter, uh, like a, a straw, okay? I use this just like a life straw. For example, I can simply put this on the end, and the first time you do this, it's always harder. And I can put this water into here, and then I can simply suck You can see I was able to get water out of that, no problem. Uh, really helpful, uh, so I can use it as just a plain direct filter. I can just straw the water right up. The next thing I might want to do is I might decide that what I want to do is I want to get some running water, okay? So let's put a little bit more water in this cup. And what I might want to do now is I might want to create some running water for some reason. So I'm going to plug up my pump and I can stick my intake into here. Now let's, let's watch this. This is going to be fun. So I'm going to stick my intake into my cup and then we're going to watch uh, as it creates. There we go. So if you needed running water for some reason, there you go. You've got running water. Um, uh, as long as I keep that in there, it's going to filter it. And that cup of water that I just created is almost empty. Let's just go ahead and fill that out. So it's pretty much empty at this point. So that's another way that you might use this. Finally, the way we might use this is to actually filter water um, in, out of a dirty source using a pump. So I'm gonna hook this up to the bottom. 
else. Like I said, sometimes the hoses are a little difficult to attach. There we go. And I'm actually going to put this back on the top just so that the water doesn't goes where I want it to go. So I can plug this pump back up. I'm going to plug my pump up. It's working. I'm going to take my bottle of water and just, again, I'm just demonstrating how we would do this. But I can take this, I'm going to point this over this way. I'm going to take this filter and I'm going to drop this hose right down into my bottle. And now I'm filtering, I'm running water, I'm going to get that ant right off the table, look at that. So I'm, I'm running water through the filter. So if that was dirty water in that bottle, I'd have clean water coming out this end. And I could be, I could use it to fill up a container um, or whatever I wanted to do with that. So um, again, four different ways we can use the GoSun uh, solar powered water pump and water filter. If you like this video, click the like button down below and we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you real soon on Cowboy Survival.